always say your prayers. Why you keep stealing my shit? Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Everybody, everybody. My hair is a reflection of how I feel right now. Crazy. How y'all doing? I haven't seen you guys in so long. I haven't done a video in like a week and a half. Anyways, on the menu today, we have in and out Right here is a 4x4 animal style. Um, with... Um, cheese, tomato, onion, um, their spread, and it has raw onion. I asked for both. This is a grilled cheese right here. Just a little grilled cheese, no meat. And their animal style fries. I got two of them right here. Probably can't really even see them that good, but look. Fabulous, delicious. Oh, well. And yeah, this place is far from our hotel, so um, nothing's really uh, hot anymore. But I've warmed it, but it's not hot. So that's that. And don't look at my disgusting, ugly, hideous nails because they're Lee Press on nails. And I've already had to glue three bitches on them. <laughs> I've already had to glue three of them back on before I started filming. I was so frustrated. I've n I don't know how to put these things on and they're so ugly. Anyways, okay, I'm going to pray and we're going to get into this. Thank you, Father, for this food. Bless this food and sanctify it by your word. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And always say your prayers. And yes, I'm in my hotel room, guys. We are in San Antonio. and Oh, we got pickles up there, too. And I have some ranch. You know me. Yes, this is my favorite ranch I had to go get some and we got the coldest water bottle right here she came to join me oh and I got unsweetened um, iced tea right here but my ice melted it's still cold excuse me <laughs> really good and we got tons of spread extra spread of course I have to have extra spread and I got a lot to talk about, so this is going to be a chatty mukbang, and a very messy one, so if you guys don't want to watch that, you should not be here. I'm so hungry, and I can't wait. Oh, alright, I don't even know how to get into this, you guys. Oh, and I just have my plug-in mic. I don't even know if it's working. I don't. I won't know until after this video. So, isn't that a bitch? All right. So if you haven't had in and out um, it is by far one of the best burger chains, I think. Okay, I just took off the wrapping of this. Look at this. I can't even wrap my freaking mouth around this. Are you kidding? Okay. A oh, cheesy onion. Mm -mm. Hold on. Lipsticks gotta go. Look at that. Ew. I'm just kidding. It's not gross to me. But this is gonna be a shit show. Like, you're not even gonna wanna watch this. That's how gross it's gonna be. Delicious, but very messy and gross. Yeah. <sighs> oh. Mm. There we go. Nine one one. Um, what's your emergency? <gasps> this is now burgers attacking me. Look at that shit. Thank God it didn't get on my mic.
Mm. How's everybody doing? Mm. I hope you guys are staying safe and staying well and staying in the house. Mm. We did not move here to San Antonio, you guys. We are visiting. Because my husband's working here, so. Yeah, um, I noticed a few comments said that. Um, did you guys, um, I didn't know you guys moved. No, we, ha we haven't. That needs more. So my husband's here. Um, secret mission. Huh. Right there. That is the money shot bite right there. I can't even bite it. Mm. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> See what I tell you. One of my nails just popped off. <laughs> You're a bitch. This is like, uh, I just want to eat in and out. Like, what is the problem? Oh, well. Okay. So I was going to vlog coming to San Antonio, like I told you guys I was. But everywhere I went, every place we stopped at, they said, oh, excuse me. Oh, you can't film in here, ma'am. Or, oh, you know, you're going to have to shut the camera off. And they wouldn't even let me film this hotel. So I tried. I really did. I want to dunk it in these ranches, but it's going to spill everywhere. So I can't do that. You guys can't even see the ranch. Mm. Mm -hmm. I got this one comment she's like there's no eating off camera I laughed so hard I'm so sorry I already have of course I have I haven't filmed in a week and a half so and the first thing I that we ate at was in and out <laughs> as soon as we pulled up in here in San Antonio I googled in and out because you know I only get it once a year when we go back to Fort Worth and I was like oh my god they have an in and out here so like Arr! we turn right around and got some now I can dunk it mm. the coldest water bottle you guys if you would like one go in my description box the links will be down below I can't even tell you how amazing you guys are. Um, I posted in my community tab that Jenna's Always Hungry is another fellow mukbanger and of mine. She's not only a fellow mukbanger, but she's like my best friend. She's more than best friend. She's family to me, and so is her husband, Chris. So for those of you who don't know, he got in a horrible, horrible car accident. And um, he was rushed to a hospital here in San Antonio um, and was put in ICU. Um, I literally started crying because all the prayers, all you guys, all of you, left such amazing sweet comments supportive comments praying there was hundreds of you maybe thousands I don't know um, well there was thousands of you because on my social medias as well but I, I'm talking about on YouTube in my community tab um, oh, you guys are so amazing just I, I was literally crying and I called Jen and I was crying I was like there's so many people praying and she's like I know she started sobbing I started sobbing so it is just we're all praying for Chris still thank you guys so much um, he is definitely like a brother to me I guess you would say um, it's just I, I just can't even I was so let me tell you what happened let me tell you the story about that Okay, so me and Jen were like, 
I told you it's gonna be a chatty mukbang, so I apologize, but spread them, you're under arrest for violating my taste buds in a good way, in a delicious, fabulous way. Um, my children are with my mom and dad. My parents have them. So they would go out of their minds crazy, bored here. They would drive me nuts. I would drive them nuts probably. And so I know it wouldn't, would not be beneficial for them to come here. I mean, what are they gonna do? Sit in a hotel room with me, just staring at each other for two weeks? No. So my mom and dad um, met me here in El Paso and picked them up, I mean, El Paso, San Antonio the night we got here and she brought them back to her house because all their cousins are down there. So, yeah. This, so that's where my children are. And so I haven't been with my kids and I haven't been with my, my pets. It's just very depressing. Um, that's why I haven't filmed and I haven't done a live. I'm sorry guys, but shout out to Valerie in El Paso. I love her. She's taking care of my cat. Shout out to Efren in El Paso. He's taking care of Jack, our big dog. Thank you guys so much. I love you both very, very much. You guys are awesome. Amazing. Thank you. Um, my little chihuahua, Leo. My kids have her at my mom and dad's. She's so tiny. I could like put her in my purse and take her anywhere. So you can't move cats. They don't like it. They do not handle moves very well. So we couldn't take her. And Jack is ginormous. He's a big dog. Like where we're... You know, they do allow dogs here, but I told my husband I would go absolutely insane having to, we're on the fifth floor, <sighs> having to take him out maybe like three times a day, up and down, up, oh, hell no, mm -mm. nope, so <laughs> we left him there and he wouldn't like it here anyways, he'd be miserable as well, so. So Valerie and Efren, love you guys, thank you. Mom and dad, thank you, love you. Shout out to you for taking the kids. And um, yeah, so, and it's just me and my hubby here in the hotel. And the snail's about to pop off <laughs> and I'm getting pissed. Um, where is, Oh my God, you guys should see this table right now. I want some ketchup for this last bite of this one. <clears throat> I almost asked my husband to put my nails on for me. <laughs> I've never done it before. I'm like, I don't know how to do this shit. What the hell? And he's like, oh, I've seen my sisters and my mom put those on for years. I know how to do it. I was like, do it for me then. And he goes, okay, I will. But I didn't wait for him. I just did it. Bum. <laughs> mm. So Jen and I were on the phone. And um, she's like, uh, what are you doing? I said, drinking vodka. I'm getting fucked up because I'm so I'm gonna go out of my mind in this damn hotel room um I'm so bored <laughs> and she goes oh my god me too so um she I'm like what are you drinking she goes whiskey I said cool let's get fucked up together and we both started dying laughing so we started doing that okay and then um Chris her husband mmm he was in the background, like, laughing at us, you know. Um, like, we were on the phone for, like, six hours. I'm not even kidding you. For real, we were. So, eventually her husband, like, in the background, he's, all right, all right, good night. You know, I'm going to bed. I got to get up for work in the morning. And this is, this is, this is so scary and sad they're like i said okay i love you bye bitch he goes bye bitch <laughs> good night that's how we talk to each other we're so close so <laughs> throughout the night me and jen started getting drunk right and we were on the um facetime together 
and we started doing um oh my god we started doing shirtless karaoke oh my god this is a grilled cheese mmm Mm hmm. So we started doing karaoke, FaceTime karaoke, and then I said, because oh. <laughs> when I get drunk, I start stripping. I do it every time. I don't know why. So I'm like, oh my God, let's do, let's do a shirtless karaoke. She's like, okay. So we both just rip off our shirts and we're in our bras. <laughs> and this was at like, uh, 3.45 in the morning and then we're like all singing you know and laughing our butts off because you know some, some notes we were not hitting because <laughs> we were so drunk and we were laughing hysterically and then the next thing I know I get this the my fucking hotel room phone starts ringing and I'm like I said oh my god my phone's ringing and I started getting scared I started getting freaked out like, have you checked the children? Like, kind of shit. Like, who the hell is calling at 3.45 in the morning? This number. Hmm. So, I'm like, oh my god, Jen, hold on. She goes, okay. I answer the phone. I know like the front desk lady. <laughs> she goes... Um, excuse me, ma'am, but we are getting, um, noise complaints coming from your room. Um, can you tone it down a little bit, please? I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I hung up the phone and then we both lost it. <coughs> I said, what the hell? I'm just singing. <laughs> oh my God. So then, you know, I was like, okay, Jen, I, I gotta, we gotta tone it down. I didn't even realize. I'm sorry, guys. Like a party of one, but it doesn't have to be. You all can come on over. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't want your shit. Stay where you are. So, the next thing we hear, we're, st we're still singing, but I, I started, like, singing low. She didn't have to. I did. The next thing we know, we hear this beep, 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 and then... <clears throat> Jen starts busting up laughing and she goes, oh my God, that's Chris's alarm. I said, no way. I said, we've been on the phone that long? I said, didn't he just go to bed? And she goes, I know. And then we cracked up laughing and then he got up, you guys. And he goes, are you bitches still on the phone? And then we lost. I was on the floor rolling. I'm like, we're drunk. <laughs> Leave us alone. We're having fun, okay? And then he goes, oh my God. He goes, well, y'all have fun partying while I have to go to work. You know, <clears throat> oh my God, we were laughing so dang hard. Then, <sighs> so I said to Jen, I said, are you tired? She goes, fuck yeah, I'm so tired. I said, me too. I said, let's go to bed. I'm done. She goes, okay. So <laughs> we're like, love you, bitch. Love you, bitch. Bye. We both hung up. And we both passed out. I mean, we were done. Done. We had so much fun, though. Six hours just, oh, my God, bullshitting, gossiping, karaoke, doing karaoke, watching TikToks, laughing. Um, it was just, we had so much fun. <laughs> so then I got a text message, like several, like in a row. Like, you know, it just, it was constantly going off. So I'm like. That finally woke me up. And then I got another phone call. And it was Jen trying to call me and text me. But I was not like, you know, I was out of it. You can't wake a drunk. <laughs> oh, my God. I finally woke up. Um, Jen was calling me, so I answered it. I said, I'm like, hello? She's like, oh, my God, my God. And she's like, Just, uh, Chris just got into a horrible accident. Um, they're rushing him to the hospital right now. I'm like, what? Wait, wait, what? I said, hold up. And I like sat up in the bed. 
And I'm like stumbling like to try and find the light to turn it on because it was pitch black in here. Um, I reach over and I turn the light on. And you know, after you've been drinking all night, you're so freaking thirsty. Like you just want to drink the Hoover Dam because you get, it dehydrates you. So I, the first thing I remember, I couldn't really process what she was saying because I wasn't coherent enough. And plus I was dying of thirst. So I'm like, hold on. I put the phone down and I'm like, you know, stumbling for the light and I turn it on. And then I open my eyes a little bit and I'm like, oh my God, thank you, Jesus. My ocean water is right there from Sonic the other night. Not the other night, you know, last night, the night before. Because <clears throat> my days and nights are mixed up. So I was like, oh, I was so happy. I was going to down that bitch. Like the whole thing. My nose is running because these pickles are a little spicy. So I grabbed it and I was like, oh, go. I took like four huge pulls off of it. My cheeks were like that. You know how you take a bunch in before you swallow? That did not sound right. You know how you drink and you leave it in your mouth and then, then you swallow it? Because I wanted a huge rush to go down my throat. That didn't sound right either. But so I grabbed it and I'm like, mm, mm, go, and I swallowed it finally and I go, <coughs> I sat up, I dropped the ocean water. It was a Route 44 on the floor and I'm gagging and I'm dry heaving and I'm, I'm almost throwing up. And Jen was like, are you there? What's wrong? Are, are you okay? What's wrong? You know, she's like, I said, hold on. <gasps> it was full of fucking vodka. My drunk ass forgot that I filled up that Route 44 with vodka and Coke. So that wasn't ocean water like I thought it was. It was fucking vodka. It was so full of vodka. Like there was probably like this much Coke in it and the rest was vodka. Oh my God. I, I never wanted to almost throw up in my entire life. I can't believe I didn't. But I didn't. That was so disgusting. I almost started crying. That's how pissed off I was. That's how mad I was. Oh my god, I was so sick, you guys. Imagine being that thirsty. So thirsty, and then you grab just pure vodka. Anyways, I like ran to the kitchen over here. They have a fully loaded kitchen in here. It's so awesome. I'll show you guys. I finally found water and I started chugging it, chugging it, chugging it. And then um, I got back on the phone. I was like, what? What's going on? Chris got what? Who? And she goes, Chris got an accident. And, you know, um, they're rushing him to. They rushed him to um, San Antonio. And I was like, oh, my God. What? The? And she goes, yes. And she was crying, sobbing. And I'm like, oh, my God. She said that he left for work and he fell asleep behind the wheel. And he he you know reared off and he hit um something you know in the dirt or whatever and made his truck flip and he went off a ravine and his truck was flipped several times they had to get the jaws of life to get him out and then put him in the ambulance and they immediately took him here to san antonio to um the big huge hospital they have here I said, oh my God, oh my God. I said, how did you know? I mean, we just went to bed. We, it, he, like, what's going on? She said the sheriff, OnStar alerted, um, you know, 911 that his truck had flipped and, and wrecked. So OnStar was on the spot right then and there. I'm gonna put the picture of his truck. I think I have two of them right here. So you guys can see. How in the heck can someone survive that? I mean, a miracle by God. And especially all of you praying for him. Power in prayer. There is power in the numbers when you pray, you guys. Always believe that. Because it's true. And, yeah, he survived that. Can you believe that? Um, yeah, there's, there's so many people that prayed for him. I can't believe it. Oh, that's why I love you guys so much. And I want to be there for you as well in return. So, you guys, when you always have a prayer request, you can always leave it in my comment section. And I will absolutely pray for whoever you need me to pray for. 
So, once OnStar um, alerted, you know, them to, to be on the scene like that, the sheriff went to Jen's house and woke her up. This is so good. And, like, she, you know, she went to the door and, you know, she was like, <laughs> we had been drinking all night. It was terrible. So she's like, hello? And, and the sheriff's like, uh, ma'am, your husband's been involved in an accident and he's okay. He's alive, but uh, he has to be um, immediately rushed to San Antonio to the ICU. And she's like, oh my God, it was terrible, guys. It was really, really awful. I'm sure Jen's going to do a video as well about many more details. Um, maybe she won't. It's up to her. But I did get permission from her to say all this and show the pictures. So, yeah, I, I, I wanted to do that because you guys got so involved in praying. And, you know, a lot of you guys commented, any news yet? We're still praying, constantly praying. It's just so precious. You guys are so just awesome, loving people. Oh, I, can't, I just can't get over it. So... Because you guys got so involved, I wanted to share this. Mm. And this is why, um, <laughs> oh my god. Um, if you're over 40 and you have a bottle of vodka in your house, or excuse me, if you're 40 and up. <laughs> I'm not over 40 yet, bitches. <laughs> like it matters. If you're 40 and up and you have a bottle of vodka in your house, you have to have uh, par parental. Um, you have to be supervised by parental guidance. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. That is it. But, oh my God. I don't even know. I probably went downstairs in just my bra. I don't know. I probably did. Vodka turns me into somebody that I don't ever want you to meet. <laughs> if I drink vodka and like just, okay, I'm done, you know, have a few drinks, I'm good. I'm funny as hell. I'm really fun to be around. But if I drink a whole damn bottle like I did, there's somebody driving, but I don't know who's behind the wheel kind of thing. <laughs> I'm getting full. <laughs> Look at that. How rude. <sighs> I can't eat these other ones. Made it up. So, update on Chris, you guys. He is he is finally out of ICU. Um, they moved him to his own room here in San Antonio. And then Jen calls me. And said, they transferred him back to Victoria where they live, to the hospital there. For a rehab um, facility that he has to be in probably for four to six weeks, maybe longer, maybe shorter. I don't know. But he's got to he's got to be in rehab for a while. <sighs> he dislocated and sh like sh uh, shattered or a clean break or something. His hip or both of them. I, I can't remember. Jen will tell you guys. Um. He had bleeding on the brain, slight bleeding on the brain, um, and they were really concerned about uh, his brain swelling because of that. So they were watching him for that. Um, and also, he was involved in that horrible, horrible accident, and he didn't even have to have not one surgery. Now, that's amazing. That is amazing. Not one surgery. So... I don't know, it's just very scary. You guys have to live like every day is your last. You really do. You never know what's going to happen. Or, you know, it's just, 
don't live in fear. Don't know that I'm not saying that, but you know, just always never tell someone, never forget to tell someone how much you love them or that you love them or hug them or kiss them on a daily basis. Don't let your husband or wife or boyfriend or girlfriend or partner or whatever leave the house without saying you love them. Even if you're, you, you're that pissed off, which sometimes, sometimes I just want to <laughs> fuck you. There's your I love you. <laughs> sometimes I want to do that, but you shouldn't do that. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do, okay? But Jen was not able to be with her husband not one time, not one time because of what's going around. They wouldn't even let her walk into the hospital. Huh. Mm -mm. Um, thank you all for praying. I think I'm, I can't eat no more. I'm so full. I ate those two burgers and this pickle. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, so good. I want to address really quickly this one comment I got on my last video. I don't I don't normally address comments but this one really made my blood boil like it really did and normally they don't do that to me hate comments or whatever like that I will literally heart it laugh and move on I really will they don't get to me e ever but this one got to me so bravo to you sister honey whatever your girlfriend bitch no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I gotta read it because I wrote it down. Oh yeah, because I said that um, we're in my last video. I said that we are traveling to San Antonio and we'll be there for two to three weeks. This girl, woman, maybe a kid—I don't know, but female for sure. Um, she commented underneath uh, that video and said, "What did she say?" Oh, it's something like it's people like you that keep this um, situation spreading because you won't uh, stay in and self isolate or something like that. It was something along those lines. It wasn't verbatim, but and I just couldn't believe my eyes. I was like, am I really reading this right now? I commented back to her. I sure did. Um, first of all, we're military and we really don't have a choice. Where they tell us we gotta go, we gotta go. It's not like we can say, oh no, I'm not going. Uh -huh. I'm staying right here. No, it doesn't work that way. And we're here because my husband is helping with what's going on and helping people around the world. And you know, <laughs> it's just so, oh, it's not like we're here on vacation. Yes, we're on vacation. Oh Jesus. Anyways, that comment really pissed me off. I will say on the first time in a year and a half, I've been, or almost two years actually now, I've been on YouTube. That's the first comment that really made me mad. So, yeah, you made me mad, girl. So, yay. First one. <laughs> Other comments I don't, I don't give a crap about. Really don't. Just the loving ones. <clears throat> oh my god uh, it really hit me now that I'm really really that full okay I'm done you guys oh I'm gonna go take these hideous freaking ugly ass nails off I mean they're so ugly <laughs> like three we went to Trader Joe's and um, uh, after Trader Joe's we went to <laughs> In-N-Out Three of these nails popped off in um, 
Trader Joe's. I was so pissed. I was like grabbing stuff off the shelf. Fium, fium, fium. I'm like, okay. I'll pick it up, but I, I ain't putting that back on. You made that shit up. So livid. But anyways, okay. I love you guys. Stay safe, blessed, wherever you're at in the world. And um, what y'all doing in the quarantine? <laughs> um, yeah, this is what I'm doing. Hotel room by myself doing nothing. We're going to be here until the 16th. So I can't wait to go home. I want my babies. I want my pets. I want my bed. These fucking beds are so damn hard. Are you kidding me right now? <sighs> Anytime you barely move, like if you move just slightly, it goes. <coughs> the bed does. So that makes you want to claw the walls. It's so annoying. You, it, it wakes you up. You can't sleep good. Yeah, this is how these beds are. It's bullshit. Anyways, okay, I'm going to go now. I love you guys. I will see you on the next video. And um, I think I'm going to go live really soon. So, love you guys. Bye. Love you guys. Bye. I'm out of here. Oh, I was going to show you guys the room. Oh, and there's a bonus little clip after this. And it should be coming up right now. It's <laughs> You're going to enjoy it. small mouth so you gotta suck it in. <laughs> Damn, this is a three by three you guys. It's messy. That was like four bites, it's like gone. Alright. delicious yeah. see. that was five bites gone perfection mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> that is the cheese that is the best part what that is the cheese is the best part oh yeah mm -hmm.